Oh, good morning. Uh, I will be discussing this morning. <coughs> uh, this is still under uh, troubleshooting the proper way and how to troubleshoot safely. Okay. I will be discussing the difference between a hot ground and cold ground. Hot ground and cold ground. For cold ground, when you connect the ground connection of your uh, tester ground, you are on the cold side. If you connect the ground of your multi tester, okay, you are safe <laughs> because it is cold. Meaning, just in case you are electrocuted, maybe. Uh, it, it's not as fast as how you die in a hot ground uh, electrocution. Okay? You're safe. Cold ground. Actually, uh, uh, you, you could uh, connect the ground connection of your multi sister safely. But on the hot ground, hot ground, when it sees hot ground, this is the utility line number one and number two. And anything on this side will be hot. Why it's hot? You are directly connected to the utility line. So just in case you are measuring voltage, okay, and you are so brave to touch your ground connection, okay, directly without any protection on the hot side, there is a chance that you will be electrocuted and you will die. Okay, so for me, as an engineer and I finish electronics here in the USA, okay, I know the proper procedure and how to deal with cold ground and hot ground. Okay, for cold ground, you're safe to touch your ground connection, okay, without maybe any electrocution that's so dangerous with you. But on the hot ground, okay, you are directly connected with line number one, number two, okay? So actually, it is hot, right? Okay, to, to prevent this uh, hot, hot condition, okay? This is where I will bring out one of my first discussions before in which uh, viewers don't seem to understand what is an isolation transformer. This is an isolation transformer. Okay? It is a transformer inside. It got a primary winding coming from connected to the utility line and the secondary is connected to whichever load you will plug in. Okay? So this is a transformer. So <coughs> the firewall uh it seems it's like a firewall. The firewall protecting you from being electrocuted directly is actually through the isolation transformer. So whatever <coughs> uh, gadget or big screen TV you are troubleshooting, troubleshooting alive, huh? <laughs> because if it's not alive, it's safe to troubleshoot, right? But sometimes you need the live troubleshooting. Why live troubleshooting? Because you need maybe to measure some voltages, and it is in the measurement of voltages that makes the dangerous of a technician or an engineer very dangerous. So without this isolation transformer, oh, you are at risk of being electrocuted. Okay, so if you want to troubleshoot a circuit live, okay, you should need an isolation transformer. Okay, it got a circuit, circuit breaker here. Just in case you are electrocuted, the circuit breaker will uh, shut down immediately. But you are on the secondary side. So what you will do? Like this one here. This is the terminal of this uh, 26 inches Insignia TV, right? So just in case I want to troubleshoot this alive, okay, what I will do? Because as you see, this is the power supply of the Insignia TV. And you cannot see a big transformer on it. This is the line coming from the utility line. Okay? It got no transformer. Okay? 
So actually, this upper side is the hot side, and this lower side is the cold side. Why cold side? We got the isolated uh, high frequency transformers already here. You are on the secondary of the isolation transformer. So actually, it's safe to touch the ground connection over here by using your uh, multi tester. Uh, just in case I want to measure voltages here, I will touch the ground connection. Uh, this heat sink on the secondary side of the high frequency transformer is a cold ground. So actually, I can touch it without any, you know, dungeon. Okay. Then I want, if I want to measure a voltage, I will, I will set this to voltage. So if I want to measure the different voltages on the terminals, I could do it safely. Okay, because I am on the secondary side, on the cold side. But to add a protection, okay, because uh, this given switch mode power supply don't have any transformer on the primary. Unlike on the analog TV support, we got transformers inside. But for new televisions now, we don't have any transformer. You see, we don't have any television uh, transformer. Before, we got this inside the big television. <laughs> This is the one protecting us from being electrocuted directly through the power line. It is the transformer. But nowadays, engineers now try to minimize expenses. They eliminate the isolation transformer. So actually, the primary side is very dangerous. Okay? The primary side is very dangerous. To make some connections here, if you are not uh, like this one here, this is hot, so just in case uh, I didn't choose any isolation transformer, then I will try to connect my ground over here. Maybe I, I, I experience this shock. That's hot. For this switch mode power supply, this portion here is 450 volts. It could kill you. Okay? So to be on the safe side, to be on the safe side, use an isolation transformer just in case you want to measure voltages here. Okay? This isolation transformer will separate you from the utility line. Okay? You are on the secondary side. You are on the secondary side. Unlike before, uh, there was this one inside the TV, right? So actually, anything after the transformer is safe. It's not safe. Uh, maybe you get an electric shock, but you will not be dead immediately. Maybe. Unlike if there is no transformer, once you are shocked, you are directly connected to the utility line and you know how much current could that utility line absorb just in case you got electrocuted okay but uh, if you are on the secondary side assuming you are electrocuted it got a circuit breaker here so before you will get burned this circuit breaker will shut off right you are on the secondary side So, for troubleshooting live circuit, okay, you should need to plug in the big screen TV or any gadget on an isolation transformer before you make any live uh, connection testing of voltages. Much more if the voltage is high. Like this one here, the primary side is 450 volts. Okay. On the secondary side, uh, these are small voltages already, these are voltages. These are the voltages needed by the every module inside the television. It could be 24 volts, 12 volts, 9 volts, 5 volts, etc, etc. These are safe voltages. And uh, the ground connection is safe to touch. Okay? You could actually touch your uh, ground connection on any metal chassis and that's a uh, cold ground and you're safe. Okay, but on the primary side, just in case uh, the one you're troubleshooting is not plugged into the, an isolation transformer and you try to connect the, <laughs> the ground connection because you want to make sure the voltage may be something here, it's very dangerous, okay? So make yourself <laughs> very, uh, uh, protect yourself by using an isolation transformer. Okay, as you see it, guys, there is no transformer on the primary side of big televisions now. It's very dangerous. Okay? So, you are on your own. If you don't know anything about it, and you 
touching something over there, measuring voltage maybe, in which you are not so familiar with, it's very dangerous. For me, I graduated electronics here in USA. I got my diploma, something like that. So I know the proper way and how to touch something inside a big screen TV. Okay? Uh, to repeat it for the last time, anything after the transformer is called, if you are connected directly to the utility line without any transformer, we, we turn it, that at, as hot. Okay? Like this one. These are the simplified circuit for big screen TVs now. We don't have any transformer on the primary side. This is line number one, line number two. Okay? Just in case you want to measure this voltage here, and it's 450 volts, you touch this one, okay, and you are not uh, isolated because you don't use a, any isolation transformer. Maybe you experience this, yeah. Okay? So just uh, be careful, you know. The tip your your finger may, might touch a live circuit and you're dead. So just be safe. So this is the circuit for big screen television. It got no transformer on the primary side. Okay? It's dangerous. The proper way to troubleshoot is like this. On the hot side, you should have a transformer. And this portion here is the isolation transformer. Okay? On the primary side, if you got the isolation transformer, it's hot. Okay? After the secondary side, it's cold already. Uh, you're on the secondary side. It's not so safe to touch, but at least if you're electrocuted, you will not be dead immediately, maybe. You will not be sucked by the power line, unlike on the primary side, if you are electrocuted here, the one... Uh, Connecting you is actually line number one and line number two. That's the one coming from the post, <laughs> and you know how much that current could, uh, you know, could take. It could take a thousand amperes. <laughs> okay, so if you are electrocuted on the primary side, okay, <laughs> you will be sucked by the primary side. So just be safe on the primary side. Okay, so I will repeat it for the last time. If you are troubleshooting any big screen televisions, uh, you should use an isolation transformer, okay? So that uh, this will act as your firewall separating you from the utility line while you are troubleshooting. This is an isolation transformer. On my first discussions of this, it seems viewers uh, don't understand what I was uh, uh, explaining and that's the importance of isolation transformer. This is the one protecting the lives of technicians while they are troubleshooting. Without this, don't be brave. Uh, you will uh, be gone in this world if you are too brave without any isolation transformer. Okay? So the proper way on how to do troubleshoot a live circuit, if you are measuring voltages, you should have an isolation transformer. Uh, okay, isolation transformer, plug in that uh, thing to be troubleshooted on the isolation transformer. And you are safe to measure any voltages on this side and on this side. Because for this one, without the transformer, this is primary. It's hot. This is cold. But if I use the isolation transformer, okay, this will make a cold also. This is cold. Because you are on the secondary side of the isolation transformer. So that's the importance of an isolation transformer. Okay? So just don't be tricked, guys, into somebody showing you troubleshooting without uh, using an isolation transformer. If they are measuring live direct current or AC current voltages much more if the voltage is actually very high. Okay? That's the importance of isolation transformer and the difference between a cold the difference between a cold side and a hot side. Cold ground side and hot ground side. At least you now know what is a cold ground side. You're on the secondary side of any high frequency transformer or you are on the secondary side of an isolation transformer. Okay, we, we call that cold ground. You could touch the ground uh, 
Uh, you still experience a shock maybe, but uh, to kill you abruptly, you, it will not kill you. You are on the cold ground. Okay? So that's it, guys. That's the proper way on how to troubleshoot big screen TVs. This is not so big, it, uh, but uh, I checked it yesterday. <laughs> I got, we got the 450 volts over here. And much more, it doesn't have an isolation transformer. So it's dangerous. Before I will troubleshoot this one live, okay, I will remove this one. I'll plug into this uh, isolation transformer. And that's the time I will be measuring voltages simply. Okay, that's it guys. That's the importance of isolation transformer and the, the difference between cold ground and hot ground and how to attain a cold ground by using an isolation transformer. Good afternoon, Los Angeles.